Hi, this is Steve Westmark, Council Realty. Thanks so much for watching my video blog this week. David Letterman has the 10 reasons for doing different things. This happens to be this week, not so much funny stuff, but information on 10 rules in home ownership as you own a property. The first rule that you should look at is never overpay when you're buying your home. It should be logical, but uh, in the end, uh, there's a guy that wrote Swim with the Sharks, Harvey McKay, who says that you make your sale, you make your value when you purchase your home, not when you sell, because all you can do is sell for market value. Second is maintain your home's condition. That means putting paint on it, following up on the, your shrubs, just taking good maintenance of the property. Third is minimize your assessed value to lower your taxes. And in fact, I did a video blog on that that you can look on my site on how to, to control your assessed market value on your property. Third, make an extra additional principal payment in your uh, payment of your PITI on a monthly basis. This will help accelerate and pay off your mortgage. In fact, there's a very well-known speaker nationally, Dave Ramsey, who recommends getting a 15-year mortgage and learning to pay that mortgage off on your house sooner. Continue to validate the value of the improvements of your contents in your property. That has to do with your insurance. If something tragic were to happen on your house, the last thing you want to do is have an, undersured, un, an underinsured property. Stay current on your surrounding property values. Receive an update, and in fact, that's a thing that I can do for you. If you'd like to have an automatic update of what's going on in your neighborhood, that's a program that I can put together for you to let you know what's going on in your neighborhood and what's selling. Make a mortgage interest payments deductible, and that's pretty obvious, and gratefully, uh, in the United States, we have a mortgage in, in interest deduction, but you want to make sure that you're making those interest deduction payments on your taxes it makes a savings for you. Do capital improvements that improve value. I had a gentleman calling me this morning and asking me what should I be doing on my kitchen and we talked about the proper capital improvements and what will give the greatest return on investment to him as he improves his property. Uh, number one, don't over improve your uh, property in your neighborhood. I have a guideline that I learned from an appraiser. If your average value in your neighborhood is around 300000 he recommends as an appraiser not putting in over 30% or 90000 into the average area of your neighborhood. So that would mean if you're going to put seventy to eighty to 90000 into your $300,000 property, that is a safe capital improvement. But if you go and put 200000 in, you're over improving the property. And last but not least, keep capital improvement records and other maintenance. This all has to do with your basis in your property. When you finally end up selling your property in the end and want to have a tax-free situation, the federal government allows as couples 500000 in tax-free capital gains or 250000 for a single. And as you keep your records and show your basis increases, it shows that you will be able to protect more of your capital gains that you have in your single family home. Hopefully these are great insights for you in how to maximize your property values. Thanks. Make it a great day. Bye.